and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm walking on the streets of Paris and it is a brand new day. We are on our way to brunch right now. We're going to brunch at one of the trendiest Korean brunch places at the moment. I think it's quite new and according to Phillies, there's already a queue. So we shall see. I'm pretty hungry because we didn't eat all day yesterday. Well, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Obviously, we had the bingsu and we also had Burger King, which was really delicious, but like we didn't eat a lot. So yeah, definitely in need of some good food. I heard they have those souffle pancakes, which seem really good. So very excited for that. And Bodine and Maika are walking there. Paris. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Look at these little streets and then these cute Parisian terraces. Oh, I miss this place. I'm so happy I'm finally back. And I'm wearing this dress, it's from Fashion Nova. And today, hopefully, we can go to the Galerie Dior. So I was trying to be a little bit in theme. Oh, I cannot believe that yesterday we saw Stray Kids Live. If you haven't seen that vlog, watch that one first. Uh, but yeah, I'm rumbling on. Oh. <laughs> Mike thought that we missed the spot, but it's still a little bit ahead of us. I will update you. Okay, she's still a good navigator. That's what she screamed. Um, but I will update you once we are there. <laughs> spot now the queue didn't not be too too long uh, like we waited for like 15 minutes or so and Phyllis waited for half an hour so props to her for waiting and look at this oh my gosh that is gold that is literal gold oh my god that's my husband oh it's a little salad for my bulgogi ex benedict oh my gosh and Micah just gave me this one oh Thank you! <laughs> okay. Needs his mom. Yeah. Uh -huh. new bias wait, wait, wait. Do, no. Don't move it that fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's a focus. My food is here. Oh my gosh. It looks so amazing. And this drink, you guys. It's Dalgona coffee with matcha. Ooh. And their toast is also here. Because it's tradition, I need to buy a magnet for my grandpa. And these are all so extremely beautiful. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Wait, it's really hard to get off. I think this one is perfect for grandpa. What do you guys think? Guys, this brings back so many memories. Do you guys remember when I used to live in Paris and I had a photo shoot right here? This is Place de la Concorde and uh, I had a photo shoot with Benjamin right here and near the fountain. And I remember this so vividly. I had to change my outfits behind one of those things right there, just like en plein air because obviously there were no changing rooms and it was so fun. It was like my first 
big photo shoot here in Paris and now I'm back again oh my gosh the memories this is Place de la Concorde guys and this is such a beautiful view with the Eiffel Tower in the back such a dream to be back in Paris I don't know if you guys can see it very well but this is me guys this was my first ever big photo shoot Ta-da! and that is under construction right now the fountain but yeah it was right here tear apart all tear just like afternoon croissants strolling over bridges that were built in renaissance isn't that what every romance love in 20 something woman wants midnight in Paris I've always heard this magic in the air as you're watching people dance by at the Galerie Dior and we just decided very spontaneously that we're going to Lollapalooza Day 2 as well so we're practicing for Kaigo's set oh my gosh I'm so excited and they said that we're going to get in for sure but it's just gonna take an hour so it's not too bad um, at least we get in because normally you have to reserve tickets online first prior to arriving here but they were all sold out already obviously because it's so busy in Paris at, at the moment so, um, but yeah, we still can get in. So that's really, really good. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So La Galerie de Ya was definitely one of the most beautiful fashion exhibitions I have ever visited. I highly recommend going here if you're ever in Paris. So here is some practical information in case you guys want to go as well. So it is located on Rue François 1er in the 8th arrondissement in Paris, obviously. It is open every single day except on Tuesdays and the opening times are 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. but the last entry is at 5 30 so definitely do make sure to keep that into account um, it costs 12 euros to visit that is a full price but you also have a reduced rate of 8 euros and this is for people under 26 and students and teachers and it is also free for children under 10 and people with a handicap and the whole exhibition is all about Dior's history. You can see the most beautiful gowns ever. They have a light exhibitions, which are the best. That was definitely my favorite part, like this one with all the clouds. This definitely felt like a dream. that fun car ride some carpool karaoke we decided to order corn dogs and this was actually my first time ever trying a corn dog can you guys believe it it was so super delicious and uh, because we randomly decided to go to Lola day two we had some soju in the hotel room it was really fun I went a little bit crazy a little bit wild but you know it's vibes guys it's vibes don't judge me please and then it was time to go to Lollapalooza it was quite the journey from our hotel so we took a cab and then the walk was around an hour so yeah that's also something to take into account if you're going there not that easy to get to the festival and we are at Lollapalooza day number two Ooh, I'm running because I'm in somebody's picture oh my gosh I'm so excited it's run there you guys can see oh and the golden hour sunshine on my face this makes me so amazing so lola day two was equally as amazing as day one in my opinion like of course i'm a huge fan of stray kids and it was really special to see them live but this day was so iconic as well so first of all we saw lil nas x and i was so excited because i could finally sing old town road with my full chest i was so happy here and his outfits on stage were just amazing and his dancers just a whole performance and then rosalia oh my gosh the iconic gum chewing this was insanity i still cannot believe that i actually saw her live 
so amazing. Her stage presence was unmatched. And then it was time for Kaigo, another one of my favorites. I've been a fan of him for such a long time. So it was really nice to finally be able to see him perform or like do his thing on stage. There were fireworks, there was a whole light show. He played so many different kinds of genres of music. I was helping a guy uh, take his photo here because he wanted a photo of him making a heart in the air with like the lights from the festival. So we helped each other out and I vibed with those boys the whole night because they were so sweet. And then the show had already come to an end. <laughs> After the festival, it took us quite a while to get home. We literally waited an hour for our Uber, but it was all okay because we had our subway and our stuffed animals. And then the next day we woke up and at 12 p.m. we went to Libertino. We're at Libertino. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this was Micah's recommendation and we're here already super early. Well, for, for pizza, it's kind of early. And the 12? guy said good morning to us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, but first, the guy at the entrance said bonsoir. So it's. I think they're all a little confused here. But anyways, um, we're here because yesterday, of course, spontaneously, we decided to go to Lola. Uh, but we actually had a reservation for yesterday night. But then we decided, you know, we're just gonna do pizza for breakfast, <laughs> which I'm really excited about. And they have this famous truffle pizza on the menu that I saw a lot on TikTok as well and Micah told me about it and it looks really good so at first I was like maybe I should do margarita but now I'm kind of leaning towards the truffle so let's go with that. Um, yeah, I just have to show you one more time because it looks so pretty. Okay, Micah showed us the menu. This Let me is focus. The truffle pizza. The truffle pizza. It looks well, so good with me. ricotta and mushrooms, obviously. Mm -hmm. And but I'm here for the fresh truffle, obviously. So yum. I don't care about the other ingredients. Just when we have the truffle, that's, that's and gonna be good. The cheese. The cheese. Okay, the cheese. The cheese. But you're gonna take that as well. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And you? Do you already know? No. No. <laughs> it's so hard, right? It's so hard. I can't choose between a pizza. Oh, that's oh, that's even worse because I was doubting which pizza I would choose, not <laughs> if I would choose pizza or pasta. Yeah. But they have a really good truffle pasta. That's what my guess is. Hey, my name is Kali. <laughs> Hi. Libertino, welcome. Thank you I so much. Yes. Yeah. No, it's really good actually. <laughs> no, don't worry. Is it okay for the choice? Yes. Yes. No, no, no for her no. not for. Her. She she's really doubting between pizza or pasta. Why with your allergy? How much allergy? Uh, allergy. Allergy, yeah. Allergy. Yeah. No. 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 Okay, girls, it's perfect. Okay, pizza. Oh, pasta. Oh, pasta. Pizza is really big. Yeah. It's good. But the pasta is okay. You don't want the pizza. You have to clean. It's really good. It's the ravioli and the legume. Legume, come on. Uh, vegetable. Vegetable. <laughs> 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 this is teamwork, right? Teamwork makes a dream work. <laughs> and the parmesan is so, so, so delicious. Yeah. Oh, the pasta truffle. The mama is the pasta truffle. Yeah, it's so famous, yeah. right? It's so famous. Yeah. It's, the name is Famous. Famous. Yes. You know, famous yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, it's just a clean all the pasta truffle before the summer. Can I take the pasta truffle? Yes. I would like the pizza with truffle. Pizza truffle? Okay. Me too. Pizza truffle. Okay, two pizza truffle. We're truffle girlies now. Truffle, yeah, yes. truffle, truffle table. Yeah. <laughs> sure. And do you want cocktail? Um, yeah, I want a mojito. Mojito? Wow. Yeah. We're wilding. You're wow. wilding. We just woke up. Yeah, we just woke so, up. So, I, I, I like mojito. Yeah, we went to Lollapalooza, so it's like still, still festival. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, and you? Um, can I have a cup of tea? Like green tea? 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 Mm -hmm. If you don't want tea no. there, or you yeah. cold? Hot. Hot uh, or hot? Show. Or cold? Um, yeah. <laughs> you want what? Cold? Show. Show? Yeah. Okay. Tea show? And for you? Do you have mint tea? Mint tea? Yes. What's that? Mint tea. You want tea? 
that's fresh. Yes. Cold. Okay, okay. So, he was warm? No, show, but like with fresh mints. Yes, everything, every uh, mint is fresh. Okay, perfect. Yes. yes. Uh, two tea? Yes. And one, one uh, mojito. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's 12, but like, we gotta try the mojito, obviously. And they have tea because they're healthy girlies like that. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Look at this pizza, guys. Like, truly, this is the biggest pizza I've ever seen in my life. Like, this is my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at your. Pause, I look so tiny at first. But that's good because Bodine doesn't have a lot of appetite. But you can try a bite, of course. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting.